Not gonna lie, I am tired already. Currently 2.36 already in the afternoon. We woke up at 5.50, 5.40 I believe. Technically 6 a.m. That's when I filmed it. Got our workout in. I already got some editing done, but I didn't film that yet. I edited right here on the kitchen counter. I'm not gonna lie, I took a nap. It's like a good 30 minute nap though. So I'm back up and running. I'm gonna go into the office this time to finish up the editing of my productive day vlog. I didn't, I just realized I didn't even like explain to you guys what vlog today's gonna be. Today's vlog is gonna be like a week vlog. I haven't done a week vlog. I don't think ever. Actually, what am I saying? I have not done a week vlog in a long time. I was planning on doing like a week of workouts type week vlog, but your girl just got her period like three days ago. So instead I'm just gonna document what I personally do when I first get my period how i manage work balance working out and what i work out and how i work out on my period and basically what i eat so now that i already took my nap and i do not want it to get any later throughout the day because i want to enjoy the rest of my day i'm gonna take all my laptop stuff and bring it to the office because i feel like that really does motivate me to feel like i'm getting out of the house and not feel all sleepy getting into like an office space i did say a long time ago that when i get a two-bedroom apartment that the second bedroom would be our office but the second bedroom is so filled and it has no window too so i really didn't have any like spark to make it into an office yet i feel like that shouldn't be an excuse but it's just not even in the right capacity to be an office it's more like a storage room and a guest room so hopefully in the future i'm able to create my dream office room one day until then i feel like it is a little push for me to get ready to look presentable and to face my social anxiety and go work at an office where there's people around so i'm a little low on energy again i'm on my period and I have not had any caffeine today and also I have not had one sip of caffeinated coffee since like January well not since January I haven't had any in January and I don't even remember the last time I had it in December so I'm on a great grind right now I've been having chai black tea like the black loose tea and oh my god this is so good I think I'm gonna make myself an ice one today even though it's freezing today like the apartment is so cold the heat's not on AC's not on and it, like when I touch the windows it's very cold I'm gonna make myself a little ice chai wrap up my equipment and start editing at the office an ice chai oh why am i making an ice chai it's freezing honestly now i honestly don't know what i'm in the mood for i feel like warm like coffee or tea still doesn't make me feel any warmer so i have no idea what i'm about to do but let me pack up first and then we'll go we got a thermos with some brown sugar in there i'm gonna talk to you over here it does get cold at the office so i'm gonna make a warm chai latte with some microwaved uh, oat milk and put in a thermos so that it stays warm hopefully this actually will keep me warm Oh, great. Well, we just started off on a great... Looks really good. I feel like I'm going to like a Dunder Mifflin co paper company or something. Michael Scott would be real proud. 
Also, if you haven't noticed by now, I did show it on my TikTok, but I got the Amazon chairs that I talked about in one of my previous vlogs, and I am in love. I was so, I don't know why I was contemplating getting these. I was just so scared of the quality. I was nervous if they were too small or what color cushion if I should get, a black one, a white one, or if I shouldn't get any cushion at all. These are like the most gorgeous bar stools that I've ever seen. Doesn't look like it's taking up too much space, and these are such an upgrade from my last ones. I did love my last ones, but I feel like they were way too bulky. This I love. I love the wood material and like this little design here. The best thing I should have gotten a lot earlier. Work bag filled with my laptop and all that. My ice water and my chai latte. Both of my bottles, my little thermoses are from Simply Modern. I got like the one with the handle that looks just like the Stanley's and my first one, which is like a regular little, like a regular schmegular little black one. Honestly, I heard so many good reviews about the Simply Modern ones more than the Stanley ones because apparently like the Stanley ones leak 10 times more and other things but I saw like a review on TikTok so I was influenced to get these and I have not regretted them not one bit I love every single one of them let's go to the office For some reason, my headphones won't connect, so we're gonna be here for a minute. We have switched locations. I have like the private room to myself now and it is so much better in here because I can actually like talk without like worrying about somebody walking in. I mean, I still gotta worry about that. I have filming Cheyenne's, but it is now 4.12 in the afternoon and my chai has been so hot that I barely drank any and I put a little bit of ice in it. So now we're gonna try to get as much in because I shouldn't be drinking caffeine this late. <laughs> it is burning my tongue though. I now feel like a college student because I don't know why they have the AC on when it's freezing outside. So put on my cutesy little flannel. I am wearing leggings and like a tight long sleeve, so I get cold really easily. My fingers and toes are like icicles. I feel like I look like a college student. And people probably be passing by me thinking that I'm working real hard on like something in college, but no, I'm just making a cutesy little TikTok for my cutesy little video on YouTube. Are you calling me? No. Oh no, Patrick's calling me. Hang on. Oh, he's calling me from his iPad. I'm gonna, I'm gonna add you. Uh, hello. <laughs> Lonnie gifting me pickleball paddles and a whole ass bag. Dude, I've seen everyone talk about pickleball. I never heard of it until I saw it like go viral over TikTok or something. Now I think I'm gonna be obsessed because I really do need some cute little activities to do outdoors when it's not too hot, not too chilly, and when the spring is approaching. It's gonna be fun! Okay, it's time to go to bed. It's currently 8.09 at night at the moment. I think my one hour 30 minute nap did not do me justice so definitely running on low energy and need a lot of sleep. We already had dinner. I just we just had some leftovers for dinner today, so nothing really special. It's just some ground turkey tacos that I had with like some lettuce, pico de gallo that I homemade, and a little bit of cheese and Greek yogurt. Then we sat on the couch, watched a little bit of shameless what's new. Then after that kind of chilled and almost fell asleep on the couch again. I am exhausted and I gotta do it all over again tomorrow. Tomorrow's Wednesday, right? I ha we have a birthday party to go to, birthday dinner to on Thursday. So it's gonna be one hell of a week when I got a birthday party and my period and workouts to catch up on since I did Pilates two days straight. I think maybe if my blood flow is a little less tonight and when I wake up in the morning, I think I might lift some heavier weights. Nightly skincare is on. That bed is just calling my name and tomorrow morning awaits me. Pretty sure I got a good amount of sleep last night. Thank you. Just realized I've not journaled in like 
forever and that pains me because journaling used to be like my favorite thing to do in the morning I just haven't been doing it so I'm going to get back into my little five minute journal it was such a sweet gift uh, if I end up remembering and figuring out who sent me this I'll put the app on the screen right now Today's pre-workout is the Alani New Cherry Twist. Okay, so good news. My period is not hurting as much as it did than it was at the beginning of this week. Show a little bit of the blue because I got I got this top from Fito. Fito? Fito? I don't know how to pronounce it properly, but Jalen sends me so many of her fitness activewear. She sends me crop tops, sports bras, shorts that really slung my butt really well. And I love her material so damn much. But yeah, my cramps aren't hurting as bad. My flow isn't as bad. My hormones, however, are all over the place. And I really, really do want to feel strong again. Like, I want to lift heavy weights today. I want to feel as strong as I did like last week or the week before that I was really training hard and I feel like I gained muscle back but I feel like all of my weights have been so low and weights have been feeling a lot heavier than usual so today's Wednesday so it is hump day I'm doing glutes and abs focus on more of my glute medius and do some intense abs let's get going Nothing more humbling than having to retrieve my camera after filming me walking out of the door. If there's one song that I'm gonna jump rope to, it's gonna be this guy. last of the sheer moisture because I do know that sheer moisture apparently like dries out your hair so that, that you can only rely on their products to keep your hair from not drying out. I gotta find a better product that's meant for my type of hair. BL motherfucking T. It is now Wednesday and we worked out this morning. I was at the office for like good three to four hours and I successfully finished my productive day vlog that I'm just looking over right now. I'm currently on my lunch break because once I finished it, it was like 2 p.m. I had some tuna and crackers and some celery and hummus and boy did it fill me up. Matt prepared me my little greens. So now I'm just looking over the vlog before I save it and post it. Then I gotta make the thumbnail. Then my lunch break will be over. And then I might even start on this vlog, but if I have time. Oh wait, but I still have a meeting today at like 5.30. So I have to make sure that I attend that. I trimmed my hair a little bit more because it was a little uneven. So I like trimmed it. Where it like matched a little bit more. It just hit me how short my hair is. Like look at these tiny braids. My braids used to come like out to here and it's insane how short my hair looks right now.
You made me a chicken I burrito. You did good. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you. It's a late morning on a Thursday. I've been waking up at 5.30 and 6 a.m. all week, so I think this is my body telling me that I need to sleep in a little bit. I also got invited to a girlfriend's birthday dinner later today, so we're gonna attend that to continue on my morning. I'm gonna be walking around all day just like this. making us a BLT. Just got these Amazon leggings in the mail two minutes ago. They're by far the best leggings I've ever worn. 100%, I'm getting them in all colors. I was gonna get ready at the birthday girl's house since everybody's getting ready there, but I get nervous when I feel rushed to do my makeup. So I'm just gonna get ready here. Heading out the door, but I forgot my greens. She desperately needs a clean. Clean off the hair. Just ran into traffic. I worked a little bit. I look insane. Different. I look angry, I'm not, it's just anxiety. Nothing personal. I got an extra large, just cause personally me, I love wearing extra large sweatshirts, but. Oh, by the way, it's currently Friday. <laughs> I am so hungover from the night before and I did not pick up my camera at all yesterday, but I do got a TikTok, so. And it's currently like four o'clock in the afternoon. My original plan was to go play pickleball today, but I got this in the mail and this is our second test run. We had uh, our first test run and I, for some reason, I loved the first test run a little bit more. I don't know, it's because we had different colors on that one. But I am happy with the quality of the hoodie. It's, it's soft and it's not too thick. I want to try to add like a specific description onto each sweatshirt to in case anybody has like questions about it. Like, is it thick? Does it have softness in the inside? Is it thin? I would say that the sweatshirt is very thin and it has like really, really like soft material in the inside. There's not. I hate when like sweatshirts are itchy, but I really do love how this looks on me, and I'm really glad that I got like an extra large. I feel like I'm gonna need to. What are you playing with? Oh my god, it sounded like you were burning something. Anyways, I feel like, hmm, feel like I might want to put the label a little higher, but I feel like it's too late to make some changes. I don't know, let's just... Honey! I feel like it's too late to make changes, or it might be my brain, like, thinking that I could make this better, like, critiquing. You, you ever look at yourself in the mirror, or, like, look at a photo of yourself for too damn long, and one eye starting to look bigger than the other one? That's what I'm feeling right now. I do love how it looks. It really is reminding me of my first merch. It feels on me so well and it's comfy. I'm gonna get them in all colors. Oh yeah, I'm looking at it too long now. I wanna critique it so much more. We're gonna... What? What? Did you lose your toy? Honey, what's wrong? Are you okay? Ugh. 
Moral of the story is, if you guys like oversized sweatshirts or hoodies like I do, I suggest getting like an extra large. We are going to be making so many different upgrades and updates on everything. Seeing what we like, seeing what we don't like. But so far, I really love it. I'm going to go buy another color actually at this moment. <laughs> Are broken, you guys. I got her out of the house, y'all. <laughs> Nia came out of the cave. Look at my fit. <laughs> this is my first day outfit, you know. First day out. First day, yeah. Look at him. Look at him. Yeah. Oh. Oh no. Spicy, but like, damn. Very healthy. I want some hot pot too. taking our first run of ever actually we never went on a run like outside we went to the zoo at 10 in the morning it gave me such a boost of serotonin that i have so much energy today so i was like screw it let's go on a run like outside it's gorgeous today it's not too cold and it's not too humid so i was like let's take advantage of this and get some cardio in for today we didn't go to the gym today or yesterday so i was like you know what while we're outside taking our walk let's go for an actual run so we packed up everything got our gear on and literally look at this honestly gorgeous today i love it i'm gonna be running a lot more often just for these views I did not outro but i really hope you guys love this vlog i know i did especially that i filmed for a whole week and was kind of having fun with how i was filming and not like being so anxious to get every shot i feel like i did well and i had fun it felt like a whole roller coaster of events and themes that i did in this vlog comment below whether you guys enjoy these types of vlogs more like a week or if you guys more enjoyed the singular day vlogs but i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and i will see you in the next one bye